Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning. So I have the fortunate ability to work for a company that is very global. They actually fly in their different IT leaders to one location so that we can have a global conference. In that conference, information security has a really a tiny bit of time. And of that tiny bit of time, I'm fortunate enough to get a tinier bit to talk about information, uh, identity and access management. My goal through talking to this group about identity and access management is to remind them of what it is for our organization, give them a little bit more of an idea of our accomplishments that we had over the course of last year, and then make sure that they're aware of what's coming next. So to get started, what is identity and access management? I abbreviated IAM for short. I simply explain it in terms of it's connecting people to data. And there's two important stops along the way. Authentication, you are who you say you are. Authorization, are you supposed to be here? And then it's really about the technology and services and governance that we need in order to support this task. To help us along this way, there's a service model that we've developed. And in this service model, it's designed to show our subscribers. These are our identity stores. Every place where we create an identity and have to manage this is a subscriber. And of these identities, there's common services that they have to do over and over again. So we want to connect these two together with an integration technology with the ultimate goal of providing value. Now, to get started on this service, last year, we started with password management. And we took the identity, uh, the identity stores that were largest in our organization, including Active Directory and Oracle eBusiness. And we purchased the tool of an Oracle Identity Manager to help make this happen. Now, over the course of the year, we've worked on the self-service password reset project, and I am thrilled to say we are nearly done. And we've had multiple deliverables that we've been able to provide for the organization. There are so many in here that I just wanted to briefly just highlight them for you. One thing to note, though, is in these list of deliverables, the ones that have the little asterisk, those were out of scope when we started. This is why our project ran long. And it's important to see that when we came and talked to the different businesses groups and different, ident different IT groups, that these were important to include. Now, before we finish up with this project, there's one last deliverable. Besides the application integration with the business-facing application, which is, was also out of scope, it's requiring a lot more time, we also have this proactive password expiration notification. So what that means is that's supposed to help us with our remote people so that we can email them that their password is about to expire, where today they're left to be reactive instead of proactive. So it's very exciting that we're almost done. And I'm really looking forward to just taking a quick little break. But we have to keep going. What's going on for the next year? So on to the next. So here we'll see our, our plan. This is a standard format that we use in our organization to kind of lay out, okay, what did we do, where are we at, and where are we headed, just at a high level. Now there's a few of these that I wanted to draw to their attention. One of these is the, we're always working on standard operating procedures to make them better and more efficient. But what they can expect for the next year is to see more Active Directory cleanup, specifically around identity. We'll see some standards and some automations from that. There'll be some domain controller work. So the infrastructure is going to be switching out a little bit. And some of these infrastructure changes are really key for our organization. So it's good that they're aware of this. And OIM, that Oracle Identity Manager tool that we put in, we're going to make it redundant so that we can have more availability. Then we'll try to focus on something really kind of exciting and new for us is federation services. Now federation, in short, is about trying to partner with a, a company that's outside of Donaldson, helping to make the life, our lives of our end users a little bit easier by helping them with single sign up our corporate travel group actually approached us and asked us to look at this. So in the next year, we'll be trying to get a hold of what the Federation services really need and trying to hang uh, to go after the low-hanging fruit, our Active Directory, 
Let's make that a federated service so that we can help our travel group. So I would expect that coming. But the many of the next year will truly be driven by the global ERP system and global e-commerce. We're still trying to get around what is this and where is identity management in this role. But the idea is that identity management stays ahead of their needs. So based on what we see in this environment, this, this, these projects, it will change the outlook that we'll see in the next, not only this year, but the next coming years. So in summary, we're going to be finishing the self-service password reset project. Look for us to be able to support global ERP. And we'll be continuing to improve processes and the existing technology. Are there any questions? Great, then I'll turn it back over to our